The biggest mistake in your Quran is when he, he prophesied in Surah Al-Rum, chapter 30, verses 1 of 4. That's one of the greatest proofs that the Quran is a lie. It's not from Allah. Follow with me slowly. Depending on how you dot the Arabic, because you know the Arabic Quran didn't have vowel markings, right? It was only yes. consonants, right? It was added later. You know this, right? I don't need to confuse you, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Let's go with the way most Muslims read it. Most Muslims read it this way. The Romans have been defeated in a land nearby. And in a few years from now, they shall be victorious. Okay, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Who defeated the Romans? I, Muslim, I think. The Quran doesn't tell you, right? And it says, yeah. in a land nearby. Some will say in the lowest part of the land. Land nearby where? Where did this take place? What land? What part of the world? Where? It, uh, it doesn't mention that. Okay. And then it says... In a few years from now, they say the Arabic word means three to nine. They shall be victorious. Few years from what date? Because if I want to know if the prophecy happened, I want to know the date so then I can start counting. Did it happen in a few years? A few years from what date? What was the date? Uh, maybe uh, from the day that this verse was revealed. Okay. And when was that? Where does the surah tell you the date of this surah? Yeah, that we don't know. Okay, now another thing I want to ask you. Allah knows everything, right? He knows the exact time and second and hour, right? Yes. How come Allah can only guess and say a few years? He doesn't know exactly how long it will take? Why did he say a few years? I mean, look, uh, like his God, I mean, if he... Yeah, if but he okay, did. Allah, but to make it amazing, give me the exact year. Even give me the exact month. He says, oh, a few years from now. It sounds like a man who's guessing three to nine. Well, Allah, don't you know, is it three or nine? Ah, anywhere in between. Okay, Allah, I'm really impressed. You are the all-knowing. You can only guess three to nine. I'm ready to take shahada. Are you serious? I'll just talk about a few things. Like I okay, but you, you forgot this false prophecy? Okay, yeah, because... I, I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Okay, but now, <laughs> let, me, let me show you a bigger problem. Did you know, because of the vowel markings, you have Quran translations that added a different set of markings so that they have a different reading because there was a different <clears throat> way of reciting the verse. Let me show you the other way. The Romans have been a victorious in a near land, in a land nearby. And in a few years, they shall be defeated. Do you know that? I didn't know that. Oh, yes. There are two readings. And I'll show it to you. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. And there are two English translations of the Quran that I'm aware of that translate it differently. The Quran, a reformist translation done by Quran-only Muslims under the supervision of Edip Yuxil, and another Quran done by another group of Quran-only Muslims. And in their Quran, it reads, the Romans have been victorious in a land nearby, and in a few years they shall be defeated. So what does the Arabic say? Does it say, the Romans have been defeated in a land nearby, and in a few years they shall be victorious? Or does it say, the Romans are victorious, have been victorious in a land nearby, and if yours, they shall be defeated. So which is it? Let me give you the other reading. Here's how they render it. The Romans have won at the lowest point on the earth, but after their victory, they will be defeated in a few more years. The decision before and after is for God, and on that day, those who acknowledge will rejoice. Which is it? How come the clear Quran is not too clear? Now watch what the note to the Quran reformist translation states. You might have noticed that we translate the reference of the verb ghalaba differently than the traditional translations. Instead of reading the verb in 30 verse 12 as ghulibat, word defeated, we read as ghalabat, which means just the opposite, defeated. Similarly, we also read its continuous future tense in the following verse differently. Now notice what they say. The prophecy of this verse was realized in 636, four years after the death of Muhammad, when Muslims confronted the army of Byzantine Empire around Yarmouk River, one of the most significant battles in history. Under the command of Khalid bin Walid, the Muslim army beat the Christian imperial army of four or more times their numbers. The Six-Day War, Yarmouk, occurred an area near the Sea of Galilee and Dead Sea, which are located in lowest land depression on earth, 204 near 400 meters before the sea level. Now, let me ask you a question. Where do you get this from? The Quran didn't say that. How did he know this is referring to the year 636? The Quran didn't say that. 
Who is saying this? The Muslim uh, translator. At what time was he alive on this earth? Relating He's still alive. His name is Eid the Buxel. He's still alive. You see what a liar, son of the devil he is? He's a Quran only Muslim. He rejects the Hadith when they embarrass him. But then he'll appeal to the Hadith to help him make sense out of the Quran. Oh, no, no. I thought this was some uh, old Muslim who reported at the time of Prophet. What Prophet? Now, if we go by your Muslim sources, Ibn Ishaq and others, according to the way they translated, the Romans were defeated by the Persians. And then a few years, the Romans would defeat the Persians. So they date this around 615 AD. So, but the Quran doesn't say so. But let's agree with the Muslim, Ibn Ishaq and Ibn Kathir and Al-Qurtubi. They're right. It's not about the Persians defeating the Romans. And they even stole the Holy Cross from Jerusalem. And then in a few years, the Romans defeated the Persians. You know, you have a problem. Because according to the Muslims, this prophecy is dated 615 AD. Few years means three to nine years. If we go three years, that's 618, right? Yeah. But if we go nine years, that's what? 624, right? Yeah. According to all sources, all records, the Romans definitively defeated the Persians in 627 AD. That means it took at least 12 years for the victory, not three to nine, which means even if we agree, it's still a failure. Allah failed. He was wrong on the date. But in the Quran, Allah did Allah say three to nine years? Yeah, a few years. And even your hadith says means three to nine. Oh, in the hadith, it's clearly there are few similar. years. Few years in English means like anywhere from three or four years. That's going to be worse for you. That means within, okay, let's say a few years. Let's take four years. That means they're supposed to win 619. They didn't, 627. So you sure you want to go with the English few years or you want to go with your prophet who said few years means three to nine? Okay, I, I'll note this down. Even the Muslim sources admit that when the Romans were completely victorious, Heraclius was visiting Jerusalem when the expedition of Abu Sufyan met with him and he asked him questions about Muhammad. And this is dated around 628. It's still a contradiction, even if I agree with the Muslim sources. It's still a contradiction. And that's if I agree with the Muslim sources which are 100 years after the death of your prophet. So how come you don't give me this prophecy? Because it's an embarrassment.